According to Beverage Marketing Corporation, the average American drinks 44 and 7 tenths of a gallon of soda every year. What is this measure in pints? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we're going to be talking about the TIC 5.7a solve problems by calculating conversions specifically in the customary system. This is the lesson 2 out of 2 of this TIC. Now, whenever we're going to solve this type of exercise, we have to use our reference chart. The customary portion is on the left side of our reference chart, okay? So now, it's going to be exactly the same than the previous lesson. Whenever we're multiplying, we use it to convert larger units to smallest unit. So the example that we're going to use here is 3 feet is going to be equal to how many inches? I'm going to go to my reference chart and I say, where is this relationship? Oh, my relationship is here. 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, so that means that I have to multiply by 12. So 1 times 12 is equal to 12. So 1 foot times 12 inches is equal to 12 inches. In this case, if I have 3 feet, 3 feet times 12 is equal to how many inches? 36 inches. Easy peasy, right? Now if I do division, is whenever I'm converting smaller units into larger. So let me see how will be this relationship in my reference chart. Also remember that you are doing your input output table to solve this so in your reference chart it says that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces so that means that eight fluid ounces is equal to one cup to get from eight to one i have to divide divide by what divide by eight so i know that if i want to know how many are 20 fluid ounces divided by eight is equal to two and five cups now Let's show time. According to the Beverage Marketing Corporation, the average American drinks 44 and 7 tenths of a gallon of soda every year. What is this measure in pints? So this one is very interesting because I'm going from gallons to pints. And if you see your reference chart, there is not a direct relationship between gallons and pints. The relationship is between gallons to quarts and then from quarts to pints. So I have to do a two-step problem here, okay? So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna go from gallons to quarts because then I wanna go from quarts to pints, right? So if I have 44 and seven gallons, how many pints are there? According to my relationship, that means that for one gallon, I have four quarts. With that being said, one gallon times four is equal to four. So that means that 44 and seven times four is equal to 178 and 8 ten of a quart, right? Now, I'm gonna go from, from quart to pints. So in this case, one quart is equal to two pints. That means that I am multiplying by two. So 178 and 8 tenths of a quart times two is equal to how many pints? 357 and 6 ten of a pint. I've been saying, guys, now you know how to calculate conversion with the customary system. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his map. Today we were solving problems by calculating conversions, specifically using the customary system. This was the lesson two out of two. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook so you can know what else is coming and what are the next tips, okay? Before you leave, take some notes. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.